All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your, the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be talking about how to install, uninstall, and see the install location of all of your games on the Epic Games Store. So I just got this Turnip Boy Commits Tax Fraud game, and I want to install it on my system. I just click it in my library, and it just asks me, okay, what do you want to do with this? I can change the install location here at the top to be a different folder if I want to start a different folder for my games on a different drive because sometimes drives fill up and you got to move stuff. If I want auto updates and if I want to create a shortcut. I generally don't create a shortcut because I mostly launch these games directly through the launcher itself. And then I can go ahead and click on install. And then it'll black screen briefly to ask me for admin permission to install this game. And then it'll start immediately doing the thing. You can see the install progress both here in your library or if you click on install or the, the downloads button in the lower left hand corner, it'll tell you some statistics about how fast you're downloading, uh, the read write speed of your hard drive and what process it is in the operations of doing the stuff with the things. Turnip Boy is a pretty small game, so that's why I chose to use it as an example. Now, from here, I can automatically launch it from a quick button in the sidebar, or I can then decide, ah, oh, I played it for a little while. I'm going to click over here in the right-hand sidebar to sort by installed. I can say, oh, I've had my fun with Turnip Boy. I think I'm good for right now. And then you can click on it. And does that, oh, that just wants to launch it. That's just launching the game. I don't want to do that. Um, but anyway, if I go back to my library, clicking on it launches it, but if I hit these three buttons down here underneath of the little name placard, you can click on uninstall, or you got some other options here. You can add it to your favorites if it's one of your favorite games. You can add it to a collection of games you like to play now and again. You can find its page for more information about what the game is if you don't remember on the store page. You can uninstall, it'll tell you how long you've played, what version it is, or you can go to manage, which will allow you to verify the integrity of the game files, turn on or off automatic updates, create a shortcut, uninstall, or open the install like folder location. This will tell you where it's installed and you can make changes like modding it from here. And then you can also have launch the game with advanced modifications. These are some launch commands you can put in that allow you to like force the game to launch in windowed mode. Steam has something similar to this. Um, if you don't know about that, I'll be doing a separate tutorial about that later. But what we want is the uninstall button. It'll just ask me to confirm, hey, you sure you just installed this man? You, you don't want to play Turnip Boy? And I'll hit the blue uninstall and then boom, it's gone. So that's how you do that. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.